Hello there, and welcome to the Pets of Plenty channel. Making a selection between the English Centers and the small Munsterlander can be pretty challenging, as both breeds are outstanding in their unique ways. We understand this challenge, so don't worry. As usual, we've got you covered here on Pets of Plenty. Today on the channel, we've gathered all the helpful information about these breeds to help you make the ultimate choice on the dog which gets that particular spot in your home with a nine round battle that covers all aspects of life, from their history to their health. Before we continue though, we would love for you to become a member of the channel by clicking on the join button down below. You can also review the perks of Pets of Plenty membership after clicking the join button. All right, here we go. The English Setter versus Small Munsterlander. Let's start the fight. Round one, history. English setters date as far back as the 15th century. The breed seems to have been used as a hunting dog in the country. Historically, the English setter was likely developed from a combination of the Water Spaniel, the Spanish Pointer, and the English Springer Spaniel. This working breed gained popularity among the landed elite in the 1600s when hunting became popular. Although the English setter was important in flushing out the quarry, these nobilities didn't utilize hawks to bring it down. The English setter is a breed that was selected for its agility and stamina. The American Kennel Club and the United Kennel Club have recognized their qualifications. The small Munsterlander, on the other hand, has its origin hidden in the murky depths of the 19th century. Though the origin of the dogs of that era has not been definitively established, they likely originated in Asia. The small Munsterlander was bred to excel in various hunting-related duties, most of which the dog does on its own without any prior training. The breed was developed to track down and kill a wild variety of furred and feathered prey, as well as to alert the hunter to the location of the game, recover shot animals, and find injured wildlife. These dogs possessed a strong point, were scent-oriented, and could even retrieve. In 1912, the Association of Small Munsterlander Pointing Dogs was established. The English setter takes the first point for being an older breed, and we move on with one point to nothing for the Munsterlander. Round 2 Appearance the English Setter has a distinct look which makes it easy to identify. It is a medium-sized, muscular, and athletic canine. His head is somewhat domed, his nose is lengthy, and his eyes are black and kind. There is symmetry between the ear and eye lobes, and the neck is long and robust. His tail is rather long, and his rear legs are solid. The coat has a moderate length, is smooth, and has a little wave pattern. Large brown spots and ticking may be seen throughout the otherwise white coat. This small Munsterlander is graceful and balanced, with distinguishing air and clean, flowing lines. It is somewhat longer than tall in proportion, with a smooth, shiny coat of excellent density and medium length. The chest is narrow rather than deep. They have neatly sprung ribs and stretch back to a short, broad loin. Withers are prominent, resulting in a solid, well-muscled back. The top line is softly sloping. The croak is long, comprehensive, and strongly muscled, descending gently to the tail set on. Tuck up with an elegant curvature. They both get a point each for being medium-sized canines, so on the scoreboard, it's two for the center and one for the Munsterlander. Round 3 Temperament English setters are gentlemen by nature, which makes them a wonderful breed. They're intelligent, relaxed, and peaceful at home. You may feel safe having them among other pets, kids of any age, and visitors to your home. They're not watchdogs, but they may be rather headstrong at times. While the small Munsterlander has an attractive appearance, a sharp mind, keen perception, and rapid intellectual development, they were bred to be hunting dogs and thrived on a regimen of play and labor. This dog has a fantastic temperament and makes a wonderful pet and friend. He's the perfect companion for kids since he loves interacting with others and is devoted to those he trusts. Seeing that these breeds make the best friends with humans and other pets, they get a point each for this round. This brings us to three for the center and two for the Munsterlander. Round 4 Socialization English setters require early socialization to become well-rounded dogs. Taking them out frequently to the park and pet-friendly locations and roaming around the neighborhood are excellent ways to begin socializing your puppy. Despite their ability to get along with humans, English setters might be excessively independent owing to their hunting heritage. The small Munsterlander is a hunting breed, yet they may easily adjust to home life and the role of a cherished family pet. When properly socialized, the small Munsterlander turns out to be 
be as excellent a pet as any other breed. These dogs can even learn to cohabit with other pets, but due to their genetic prey drive, they should never be left alone with smaller pets. The breed has a lot more energy than a typical lap dog. Still, they may be a terrific friend who will happily accompany you on your travels if you're active. They deserve a point each for being the perfect dog when socialized early. So, we're now at four points for the setter and three for the Munsterlander. Round 5. Grooming English setters need weekly brushings with a soft bristle brush to maintain the beauty of their long, silky coats. A dog's skin may get irritated or infected if tangles and mats are left neglected. A metal dog comb with large teeth might be helpful when knots are just starting to develop. They need regular haircuts in addition to nail and dental care. We can also say the same for the small Munsterlanders. They need regular grooming consisting of brushing and an occasional wash. Munsterlanders shed more heavily in the spring and autumn. Therefore, extra attention should be given to their coats during these seasons. To keep infections at bay, these dogs need regular grooming. These breeds are pretty easy to groom when the routine is introduced during the early stages of puppyhood. However, the point for this round goes to the English Setter, as the small Munsterlander sheds heavily during seasons. The Setter takes a significant lead with 5 points to 3 for the Munsterlander. Round 6. Exercise English setters are high-energy breeds that thrive with daily exercises. It helps the breed maintain happiness and health. They love lengthy walks, treks, or bicycle rides with their owners. While you're at it, be sure to avoid particularly rigorous or high-impact activities with puppies and young dogs since their bones and joints may not acquire mature strength until they're two years old. Small Munsterlanders need regular physical and mental stimulation. Due to its hunting ancestry, this breed has a lot of pent up energy that has to be regularly released by activities like daily exercise. Rigorous exercises are fantastic for this breed as it keeps them motivated. However, they need to be closely monitored due to their hunting instincts. One point each for being a high energy breed and it's six points to four for the Munsterlander. Round 7 Training the English Setter is a wise, friendly, and faithful pet. It's crucial to start training early and consistently since they tend to follow their instincts, which might lead them into danger due to their acute sense of smell and prey drive. Consistency and gentleness are required to teach them. Therefore, always use positive reinforcement, compliments, and food treats rather than being harsh. The harsh treatment adds to their obstinacy, making it hard to educate them. Most small Munsterlanders don't develop emotionally until they're too years old. This breed matures slowly, like many others that are useful in various settings. Luckily, they are easy to train with positive reinforcement. Before adoption, bear in mind that in no time, your little puppy will grow into a powerful, muscular, fully developed dog with the intelligence of a teenager. For both breeds, you should keep each training session brief but enjoyable. Easy training and intelligence earn them a point each in this round. This leaves us wondering, will the center relax on this fight and allow the Munsterlander to level up? You're about to find out as we move on to the next round with 7 points to 5 for the Munsterlander. Round 8. Diet and Nutrition Due to their high energy level, these breeds require a diet tailored to the needs of a working dog. Luckily, some of the finest commercially prepared dog diets provide a healthy combination of vitamins and minerals and are an easy, simple option. Foods like boiled brown rice and chicken, sweet potatoes, carrots, and spinach together with some pasta may make for a healthy snack for them. Raw meat in their diet occasionally helps to prevent skin problems. And of course, they both need a constant fresh supply of clean water daily. They get up point each for their diet and nutrition, and it's down to the last round with 8 points to 6 for the Munsterlander. Round 9. Health these dogs are generally healthy with a good lifespan. However, they may be prone to some illnesses like other breeds. They need regular checks at the veterinarian to help them stay healthy during their lifetime. These checks help you detect any illnesses before it becomes severe. With one point each for being healthy breeds, we've come to the end of this fight. The English Setter takes the day with 9 points to 7 for the small Munsterlander. 
we'd love to conclude by saying every human has a choice. It's vital to consider your personal needs and environment during adoption. However, it's always worth knowing about the similarities and differences between these breeds. Both breeds can work excellently as a pet or companions. This is our evaluation. Remember, yours may be different. In addition, before adopting a dog, do well to seek professional advice from the breeder and your veterinarian. What are your thoughts on today's contest? Let us know in the comments section. Consider becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button to get early access to our upcoming videos plus other membership perks. Also, check out our playlists and click on the video links that pop up at the end of this video. Thank you for watching.